Once vibrant in color, much of the world's coral reefs have turned completely white. This is the biggest coral bleaching event on record. In an exclusive interview with Reuters, Derek Manzello of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said about 77% of the world's coral reefs have been subject to bleaching level heat stress, the most extensive on record. Again, this bleaching event is still ongoing and it's still increasing in, in spatial extent. So it's still getting bigger uh, as we speak. Mass bleaching events are triggered by heat stress in warm oceans, when corals expel the colorful algae living in their tissues. Without this algae, corals become pale and vulnerable to disease. While a bleached coral is not dead, ocean temperatures need to cool down to help with recovery. Meanwhile, climate change has fueled record and near record ocean temperatures across the globe. We could be looking at a scenario where, you know, if, if what the ocean temperatures are now is the new normal, you know, we could be essentially moving into a, a, a world where we're more or less in a state of chronic global bleaching. Again, I hope that doesn't happen, but you know, based on ocean temperature patterns over the last year and a half, two years, you know, I, I am fearful that could potentially be in the future. In the coming months, scientists plan to conduct underwater assessments of dead corals to tally up the severity of the event. Scientists have also called a special emergency session on coral reefs to be held at the UN COP16 convention in Colombia at the end of the month.